This AIO liquid cooler would definitely not be a bad buy. Well, admittedly, there are tons of decent AIOs on the market to be had right now. So in the end, it can be a really tough choice to make. Nonetheless, I believe that the new Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 in its 280mm version is not only interesting, but also very capable both in terms of cooling performance as well as noise levels. But I did run into some strange test results, just to let you know. As you may know by now, lately I've been putting CPU coolers to the test with two different CPUs to cool. One of which being the rather toasty Intel Core i9 13900K, which can easily and quickly reach the 100 degrees Celsius mark. Is a 280mm radiator even sufficient enough to handle the Core i9's massive heat output? Or should you rather get a 360mm AIO to get the job done? As you can see, there are several questions to be answered today. One of the first ones being the price. The 280mm version of the Pure Loop 2 currently goes for like 100 to 125 US dollars, depending on where and when you find a good deal on it. Is today's AIO the right one for you? Now, if you extract all the contents of the packaging, you get a fairly complete overall package. That would include, among other things, the AIO unit itself, the two 140mm fans, a fan splitter cable, screws and all the mounting brackets, also included is a bit of thermal paste, and as is fairly usual with Be Quiet, 100ml of coolant so you can refill your unit after about 2 years of use. Lastly, the instructions. Starting with the radiator. This is a 280mm aluminum one. Since the question most certainly will arise, yes, we see a mix of materials of aluminum and copper here for this unit as well. Now the radiator comes in at a fairly standard thickness of 27mm, so it'll fit easily into most decent PC cases out there. The radiator seems to be of decent quality, so there's no complaining for me. The refill port is located in an easily accessible location, making it super easy to refill coolant in the long term. The fittings on both the radiator and water block are made of metal, but primarily are just for looks. Be Quiet prefers having their pump not integrated into the water block, but have it sitting right in between the radiator and water block actually. I have heard many times that not all of you are on board with that, but one of the technical advantages of this is that this can help reduce vibrations and overall noise levels. So I really don't mind that kind of approach. By the way, this is a doubly decoupled PWM pump that can be controlled within 4000 and 5500 RPM. The two 140mm Pure Wings 3 fans are heavily advertised here and are said to be able to provide a high air pressure while also doing their job quietly. There's no lighting here. Only the water block features light subtle ARGB lighting. It uses the standard 3 pin 5 volt header. I personally like the water block aesthetics, although I certainly would like to see a bit more variety within the Be Quiet product lineup. I'd really appreciate having more different looks and designs to choose from. It's after all something a few other brands are already offering us. The tube length is at 400mm, which is considered sufficient in length. They're also nicely sleeved for that extra premium feel. The water block features a nickel plated copper base and our common, most recent CPU sockets are being supported, namely AM5 and LGA1700. The installation onto my test systems, both AMD and Intel, went smoothly and quite easily. Now let's talk tests. CPU number 1 is going to be the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. CPU number 2 is the much hotter Intel Core i9 13900K, but at its fixed stock power limit 253 watts. Initially, we're going for max fan speeds, and following that, we'll throttle everything down to identical 40 decibels. Noise levels. This is purely about the maximum noise levels achieved, so pump and fans all pinned to 100%. Today's Pure Loop 2 280mm only hits a max of 49 decibels on my decibel meter. This can neither be described as quiet nor necessarily noisy it's an overall decent result. Temperatures at max fan speed with the AMD 3800X. 
as it was the case in recent times, it becomes clear that the 3800X no longer truly shows any real meaningful leaps and gaps between different cooling solutions. The Pure Loop 2 with its 280mm is, as expected, right there among those high-end air coolers and slightly behind most 360mm AIOs. Not a bad result, but not groundbreaking either. But don't leave just yet, things are going into a bit of a different direction real quick. Temperatures at max fan speed with the Intel 13900K. With the CPU running the Prime95 stress test, the Pure Loop 2 280mm keeps up with Cougar's Poseidon GT360, even though today's Be Quiet unit comes with less cooling surface to work with. That would be the first notable victory for this Be Quiet AIO. Strangely, we quickly see a bit of a negative turn of events for the Pure Loop 2 once we head to the Cinebench 2024 test. Now the Pure Loop 2 suddenly delivers slightly worse performance than even a 240mm AIO by Cougar. This seemed very strange to me during testing, which is why I double and triple checked the results and reran all the tests again, but everything appears to be correct on my end. So my only guess would be that we are dealing with slightly different types of AVX loads between Cinebench 2024 and Prime 95. Temperatures at a fixed 40 decibels. This is where we are seeing an incredible comeback when the fan speed is reduced to get down to 40 decibels. All of a sudden, the Pure Loop 2 achieves what feels like a massive victory over even 360mm AIOs. However, I'll remind you that this was the Prime 95 stress test when things got really toasty for all other CPU coolers. When we now repeat the test with Cinebench 2024 load, the Pure Loop 2 still takes first place, but only so by a single degree Celsius compared to the tested 360mm AIO. Either way, a very impressive result. Conclusion I don't want to beat around the bush for too long. The Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 in its 280mm version sure is quite capable, no doubt about it. However, it doesn't particularly shine when you have it running at max speeds. It only goes to show its true strengths compared to competing models once you level down the noise level. While other coolers listed in my charts quickly lose lots of their cooling performance when configured that way, the last seen with the Pure Loop 2 is relatively minimal, a clear and strong advantage for practical use. Regarding noise levels, I once again can state that the actual pump was inaudible to me, and I did let it run at its max 5500 RPM. As I said, I would not set these Pure Wings 3 fans to their maximum speed, even though 49 decibels aren't to be classified as necessarily annoying anyway. To answer the question from the beginning, yes, with a decent 280mm AIO, you certainly can cool an Intel i9-13900K properly. In my opinion, you don't always have to go out and buy a 360 or 420mm unit to take care of that. I can definitely recommend the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 280mm liquid cooler, but of course, I'm also interested in hearing your opinions and thoughts on AIOs in general. What do you think of today's Be Quiet unit, and what cooler are you using to cool your CPU? What are the max temperatures you're achieving? Feel free to let me know down below in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, go for the dislike button instead. With that in mind, thanks a lot for watching, and until the next one.